What do you think? It's delicious. Did you eat that? Oh my gosh, it's so good. All right, so we are all home today for the first time because of the bug that's going around. Normally we'd be at school, but today we are doing a little science lesson. And I'm gonna show the girls how we plant these microgreens. And I'm kind of learning too, because this is my first time doing this. So for, I started with the clean trays. We've got a bottom solid tray here to help keep the soil from spreading everywhere. And then we have the germination tray with all the holes in it right here. And I've got a bucket of soil, so I'm gonna start putting in the soil and let's see how this goes. So this is uh, ProMix BX soil. I'll put a little information on the screen for what that means. Um, we want to have the soil be consistent and flat all the way up to the edge of the tray. So first we're starting off with the speckled pea trays. Yeah. Okay. And um, also this is our second thing we're growing. It's our very second. So our first thing we were growing was chickens, and now we're growing. And our second thing is microgreens. And we have been learning how to do plants and stuff from on the grow mm -hmm. on YouTube. Yep, on the grow on YouTube. We've been really helpful. And we love on the grow. So we put thumbs up for it. Yeah, we put a All thumbs up the on their videos, yeah. Every single video, I pick up that. Alright, so I'm going to sprinkle it. So now, you are sprinkling the... Speckled pea. Speckled pea. So, these aren't just any peas, they're speckled peas. That's right, they're not just any peas, they're speckled peas. I'm gonna put a blank tray up here, and then I'm gonna take this paver, the standard paver from the hardware store, big box store, and we'll put it on top. This could help spread out the weight a little evenly. This weight is gonna help create contact with the seeds to the soil, and it'll also make it so that when they root and they start to push up, it makes them stronger and stronger. And these particular variety of microgreens will be under this weight in this state for three days. So we're gonna let them grow, get strong. I will be uh, watering them periodically. You don't want the soil to dry out. So we'll continue watering and leave it stacked up here. And hopefully in about four days, we'll start to see some really cool plants pushing up out of here and we can get them underneath the grow lights. Day two. All right, so now we are at day two of growing our first batch of microgreens. We had the paver on top of the trays to help weight it down, and that was sitting on top of our growing rack over there. Really curious if we've had any germination after 24 hours. So let's find out. Oh my goodness. Y'all, this is so cool. Just about every single one of these seeds has sprouted out. Little roots. My goodness, this is amazing. Go ahead and spray these guys too. Next day. And here's the peas. So cool. Look how big this is. Like, it's, this one's super big. Yeah. It's one, it's like one of the biggest ones. Are you surprised how fast they're growing? Yeah. Isn't that cool? Several days later. And now we get to make our first harvest. Look at these beautiful, beautiful speckled pea microgreens. Germination is pretty good. It's my first time. I'm just, I'm so happy. I mean, you can see the growth. It's almost even. There's a couple high spots. Um, I did not water these today because you try not to water them right before you harvest because you want it to be dry. Especially when we start to package these and sell them, you want it to be as dry as possible when you put it in the packaging. That way it has a longer shelf life. They look beautiful. Let's cut them up. We got our greens because I'm really curious what our yield will be. I'm gonna grab a scale. 
I'm gonna grab our bowl. This is our really cool harvesting knife. Again, I got this idea from On The Grow. I'll link their channel below. Um, they've been a great resource. And hopefully I do this right. So, let's do this. I'm cutting low so I can get good yield, but I don't want to cut too low that I pull up dirt with it. I'm gonna be really careful. Very, very sharp knife here. I'm getting the, getting the hang of it though. All right, so Natalie's about to test our very first microgreen salad. In our salad, we have speckled pea and we have broccoli. I harvested the broccoli about a day, maybe two days early, just to have a little variety in the salad. And honestly, I might have let the speckled pea go a day too late, but I wanna see what she thinks of the flavor. So the big ones are the speckled pea? Yep, the big ones are the speckled pea. Let me just try them by themselves. And the small ones, broccoli. Yep. Mmm. What does it taste like? It tastes like peas, <laughs> but like a tiny, like a uh, like a snow pea, like sure. crispy and watery. It's got a little crunch to it right, and the stem the and the broccoli. Oh my gosh, it tastes like broccoli. And the broccoli in this form, uh, University of Maryland actually did a study and they found that it has 40 times the nutrients of a normal head of broccoli. So you're getting it packed into that small package. What do you think? It's delicious. Did you eat that? Oh my gosh, it's so good. You just drizzled a little, a little bit of uh, dressing. Right. Yeah, a little vinaigrette. Oh, it's really good. I had it with ranch earlier. <laughs> and I went ahead and chopped up the pea. Vinaigrette is classier than ranch. You know what? <laughs> I, I chopped up the pea, uh, the pea microgreens because they're really tall and it's like harder to eat. So I chopped it up a little more finely for Natalie. Mm. It's really good. So when we run out of our fresh produce that we have from the grocery store this past week, cause we're not, we're trying not to go out to the grocery store again. Uh, once we run out of fresh produce, we'll have a steady supply of micros. We got the speckled pea going, we've got broccoli. I feel like this would be really good in tacos or on eggs. Mm-hmm. We got cilantro to do, we have radish, we have Could all sorts like of good stuff. you like a grilled cheese and broccoli microgreen? Absolutely. Like a broccoli rob and cheese sandwich, but and with microgreen? What do you think? Good. <laughs> awesome. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. This is just the beginning of many great things to come with our microgreens and growing food for our family, and hopefully a new business here on the homestead. We'll see you guys on the next video. Well, I hope you